Welcome back to Metroid Fusion! 1% run! Now where we last left, I'm I'm bad at the intros. <laughs> well, we, last left, we just beat Yakuza X, and now we're gonna go and find out what the source of this vegetation is in the reactor core here, and not get killed instantly by the bugs. These bugs scare me. Especially the flying one, like that one. If that stinger hits you on a 1% run, game over. Like, literally game over because that does an over and every tank of damage. Now this is actually the place you want to go right here. This tiny little minuscule tunnel right here. Go ahead and get all these out there. Now here comes a challenging part because I think we know what that sound means. Someone is down there waiting for us and the only way to get past here is of course to go down. So, we're kind of stuck. We're going to have to fight the X. They're going to have to run away from the SAX, so... There's really no better way to do it than just to charge head on. I find the best way is to freeze her quickly with a missile, and as soon as you get to the next room, turn around and freeze her again. Let's do it. Because that's where stuff happens. I believe pretty much any one of her attacks will kill you in one hit. So you want to be careful. Like I wasn't, because I mistimed my missile. Whoa, that was close. Sorry for me being quiet again. Here again. We're gonna try this again. See ya! Her ice beam kills you in one hit, her screw attack kills you in one hit, and her super missiles kill you in one hit. But then again, at this stage, she's not gonna be using any super missiles. Back up there again. Fucking bugs, I tell you, man. Bugs will be the death of you if you're not careful. It's gonna be especially apparent here in a little bit. We're gonna see more of them. I did not expect that. I honestly did not expect that at all. So, I don't think I've ever actually had this much trouble with this part. I don't remember at least. Usually get it within a second or third try. I think it's like what, what the town? Attacking. And we're gonna try this again. Now I wish I had my headset, then I would have to lean all the way to the computer so you could hear me. I miss my Turtle Beach headset. She still managed to hit me. I'm just gonna waste all my missiles and try and freeze her as soon as possible. What the hell? I don't think I've ever seen him do that. That was ridiculous. See, so yeah, I just stupidly demonstrated what happens if you get hit by their stinger. Man, I just cannot get a break. What's going on? I don't know why I suck at this game all of a sudden. Oh, I haven't played it in a long time. He's screwing up timing of the space jump, man. 
You gotta be quick here because this is easily one of the most dangerous parts of this place. Are you kidding me? Why is she shooting? I've never had her giving me this much trouble before. Being quiet now, so I'm concentrating because oh my god, I've never had this much trouble with her before. Oh my god, I think I know what I need to do. I think I know what I'm doing wrong. Missing something. The problem is telling what it is. Me being quiet, not being entertaining. Let's try this yet again. Finally. And we finally escaped the bitch. Oh my god, SAX. What do? So now it seems like we're trapped in here, but oh wait, no we're not. And missile block, I don't see that often at all. Man, I just realized. If I wasted all my missiles, I would be totally screwed right now. That's insane. This is also hard to be careful because there's more of those bugs around, and if they get me the stinger, I'll be very pissed. I've had that happen to me before. But it's not. That one, that one gets me every time. I'm gonna have to do this whole sequence again. It's so stupid. It'd be nice if they did, I don't know, 98 damage? That'd be a weird number, but it'd still be nice. And I'm doing a challenge run. And again, I'm pretty sure if Metroid Prime 2 with no dark suit is more challenging because the fucking boost guard. I tried that recently, I managed to do it, it took me forever. Oh my god, that boost guard. A little dash dancing. Alright, let's try this again. I hate those bugs, man. No, you stay away from me. Because I want to save. Once I save, I'm safe. And there's no latches. God damn it. Ugh. There's a save spot somewhere up here. 
I just don't want to get killed by another bug. That would suck right now. This is actually where I need to go. There is a way to sequence break this, but oh my god. I'm pretty sure you can do tools. She makes me nervous. Oh, thank you. Thank the lord. Only been 10 minutes. We might as well get the next boss in. They throw the bosses at you quickly in these last few segments, man. Sorry, these bugs. The bosses, they throw one of these at us, too. Thankfully, I saved, so I'm not really as concerned about it. I just want to turn the wrong way. Go me. Yeah, some of these bugs are actually caught really quickly. It's kind of interesting. Oh, look at these eggs. Oh, I'm already here. Okay. So, we're actually gonna go into the next boss like I said they throw my too quickly here we have okay meet Natori Natori X so normally these things would keep spawning spores like this one is right here but if you stand on the edge right here that left one will not attack you so it makes it a lot easier for you and you can just pretty much wail away at Natori here I don't even bother wasting my missile right now. I don't know what this is. Just because I like being able to use my missile here. But yeah, the Tori here is the source of all the roots. He starts doing this pattern. And the flowers start spinning spores, so this is the only place you can really hurt him at. And I just fucked up. I cannot believe it. I fucked up on one of the most e one of the easiest bosses they have to offer late game. There's still two, at least two more bosses to get through. Tough ones, at least. See, I'm about that stinger, man. I'm just getting frustrated. I'm sorry. Commentary. My commentary is not even good. There's my phone ringing. I'm not gonna answer it. How about you guys? But if I don't recognize a number, I just don't answer. Did you sit I don't even need to go that way. I'm, I'm wasting time on that bug. I guess it really matters. I'm gonna go and take the damage because this is really average damage. Perfect. Okay, so yeah, so he starts shooting those beams out. Of the Might as well do this too because this also works. This is the only boss that power bombs will work on. I'm gonna try and be quiet for a minute here so I can actually concentrate on this boss. You can really call it a boss. I think I was ducking. I guess I was. I can't believe it. I'm doing so horribly in this game right now. This is embarrassing. Excuse me, so sorry. I'm oh, sneezing. You guys only do 9 damage, that's not this. Okay. Let's try this again. 
Set up against him. Setting up is probably the hardest part. Because you want to get just enough distance where the game actually thinks you're inside the plant. That you're being eaten. So it stops using the spores on the left side. So that's what I do for the umpteenth time. I do not want to have to cut away for Notorious. That's ridiculous. I set up perfectly if I get hit twice. Once you get the beams going, you have to stand on this platform once you get hit by scores from the big flowers. Really, this boss doesn't make much sense, but I think I'm gonna make boss even more happy. We finally got him to swap for the second time with Pallet Scout, so he's almost dead. You can get him this time because you can him with a bunch of stuff. And you see, we have a hard core X. No! no! <laughs> I hate this game right now. This game does not like me. So, you saw he became a hardcore X, meaning he's going to hold the next beam, which you can tell he was using on us, which is the plasma beam. Which is a very nice beam. Oh, I forgot. I got, like, another boss. I'm forgetting about so many bosses. I always just- my memory just always blanks in this late part of the game because they throw so many bosses at you, they throw- they have you go to so many locations that it just all becomes kind of forgettable. Come on. There we go. I'm gonna try this again. This time I think it's gonna be quiet. Like I said, it's best you can give him that pattern where you're doing all lower shut. Oh my god. Okay. That's it. I'm sorry. I'm cutting. I'm cutting. I because I cannot believe I'm having this much trouble on this boss. I'm not that bad at this game. I promise you. So yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so after a lot of bullshit, I finally beat him. I don't know why I had so much trouble. But and as you can tell, we now need another beam. We just got the space jump, but now we have a new beam. Plasma beam now pierces enemies. A lot more nice than you think it sounds. Yes. Yeah, how you like it now? Okay. Now the Notoria is gone, all the power is back. Save point. 
Yay, save rooms. Okay. Now that I beat the Tori, I'm gonna pull all that together and put it in one part. And I'm gonna go ahead and end it off here. So next time on Metroid uh, Fusion 1% Run, we go back to the navigation room and figure out what we need to do next. So hopefully you'll join me next time, and we'll see what happens. And hopefully we can get a little bit further into the bottle ship, maybe unlock level 4. Alright.